There's a couple of Van Halen fan sites that I actually go on and read. There's one called the Van Halen VH Links and another one called the Van Halen News Desk, right. which is, uh, yeah. Uh, and uh, I thought, I think I saw it on Van Halen News Desk. He was in, now he recently did some kind of a, he was involved with some dance or techno mix of Jump that some DJ did. Yeah, did you hear it? Yeah, I, well, I heard, yeah, I heard, I saw a video of him in Florida where they were premiering yeah. it, I think. <laughs> yeah. Yes, what'd you think of that? Oh, well, about same reaction you just had right there. <laughs> <laughs> he had a nice jacket on, if you're going yep. fishing. <laughs> but I guess, I guess they took this thing over to Europe, I read. Uh, I went over to the Van Halen News Desk, and it shows a little clip of some interview that he did where he was saying that he was going to go. They were asking him about new music or touring or anything Van Halen re- uh, going on, and he said he was going to be meeting with the with the Van Halen brothers the next week to discuss stuff. And then, mm-hmm. I, and, then it, and then it sounds like he started kind of backpedaling and uh, d- realizing what he said. He didn't want to get himself in too deep on anything, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, what's interesting is he's done a couple of interviews because he's selling this tattoo cream that he he made this company that's selling tattoo cream. And, you know, in both, in two, three, the two, three interviews he's done, nobody has asked him or he has, nobody's even asked him about Van Halen, which tells me one of two things. Either the interviewers aren't doing their job or they were told in advance, you can't ask about Van Halen. As there's always this cloak of secrecy about, you know, around the, the band. But uh, he, him saying he's meeting with the brothers, but is it still radio silence on your end? You've heard nothing. I've heard, I've heard nothing yet. In fact, we just, you know, we just came off our great. Oh, in fact, really quick, I just want to thank all the fans that came out to see the circle. We just finished our uh, this leg of the tour. We uh, came home on the on the ninth, and uh, man, what a great great shows! We played to a lot of people, and uh, we had just a great time. But uh, the reason that w- the circle is taking a break right now is that if things would have worked out as they were starting to go or as planned, I we pro- we would have been in. Uh, pre-production rehearsals with Van Halen right now. Wow. Because so it Sammy, was I'm that sure it was I'm sure you know that you know everybody Sammy had made a statement saying that uh Yeah. you know if if uh I was offered and you know and I I actually I you know I can tell you I did I did I spoke with Irving Azoff last October. That's when I first heard from him and he asked if I would be interested in in any kind of a reunion and I told him I said yeah. I was finishing up a couple shows with Sammy and I said yeah, I'd be interested to hear what you guys have going on. So, you know, I'm, I'm, I got these few d- dates left, and then give me a call. And uh, I never heard a call back. And then uh, right after the first of the year, uh, I got uh, in, or, uh, David Lee Roth, Dave's uh, business manager, or some, a lawyer or something, got a hold of me about a meeting or something. And so at that point, I just, I, I, I gave it over to our manager because I, you know, I didn't want to start getting this in, in this, this whole thing. I wanted to do it the correct way, especially after right. the way things went for me in 2004. Right. And we won't get into that, that, but, but, uh, you know, from what I had heard, and I hadn't spoken to any of the guys that, you know, they were going to try to plan a thing for this summer. And, uh, for whatever reason, I mean, I was never, my my people were never, they never got in touch with us about any kind of a contract or uh, any kind of a, you know, meeting to discuss or whatever. And the next thing I knew that uh, the plug got pulled on it this year. Well, the the one thing I've heard, and again, I have no, no, I don't know those guys, so I have no contact with them. But the one thing I heard, which I hope is absolutely not true, is that one of the reasons why it got pulled is that maybe Eddie's having some health issues again. And I, I truly hope that that's not the case, but that was some of the things that I had heard floated out there. So right. let's hope, hope, so let's hope I mean, that's, that's not I've, the case. I've, I've probably heard the same rumors that you've heard, you know, floating around through different people and a couple people in the industry. But it's like, you know, you can't, as you know, you can't believe really what you hear, you know, unless you hear it right. from the horse's mouth or a, a totally reliable source. But, uh, yeah, I heard those rumors, too. But uh, that's about all I know as far as that goes either. Oh, that's interesting. So you're off right now because you thought you'd be rehearse, rehearsing and getting ready to uh, so for a Van Halen planned, tour. When we planned the Circle tour, uh, we moved all our dates to early spring and before the summer to uh, 
Sammy and the guys were gracious to do that for me and make clear out a big uh, chunk of uh, time. So if this did happen, that I could go and do it. Well, I mean, it got so, that uh, close. That that's good to know. It got that close, but let's hope that somehow it can circle back around and and you know. Yeah, I mean, it, I mean, I obviously I haven't uh, been in touch with her, my lawyers or my manager. Nobody's been in touch with their camp now. So, uh, you know, I'm just gonna we're gonna continue on doing the circle thing. 